started out kind of gloomy earlier today, but we started to finally see some more sunshine as we progress through the midday afternoon hours and right now mostly clear. We'll see if that continues through the overnight temperature right now 68 degrees. It was a warmer day. It was a more humid day, but we'll call today mild in comparison to what the rest of the week is in store for 69 was our high today. Yesterday's high was only 59 degrees and that was really the last and really only winter like day we have seen so far this month. Average high is 65. We're going to be running above average for the rest of the week and into the start of the weekend. Those cloudy skies are really all morning and into the midday. We've started to see them break apart. However, clouds are not gone. We still have plenty of moisture surging in from kind of a southerly flow aloft. Now at the surface, we have more of an easterly wind, but in all directions, we have the moisture coming back into the area. That's going to lead to warmer temperatures and more humid conditions, some fog as well, and a little bit more cloudiness over the next several days. Temperatures outside in the 60s on both sides of the lake, all locations warmer than at the same time yesterday. So not nearly as chilly as it was yesterday afternoon and not as pretty as we saw a lot of sunshine all day. 70s over the next couple of days and then low 80s in a few days. Friday, Saturday, the records are only 79 degrees and we may be breaking those records. Now we do have a front fairly weak that's on the way for late Saturday night into Sunday. That may help to knock our temperatures down a bit. Then it looks like we might see a slight spike in temperatures before maybe a stronger front by next Tuesday. Tuesday, a little bit beyond our seven day forecast for any real accuracy. So we will wait and see. And as far as Christmas week and Christmas day goes, it's just a little too far out right now to see what we may be in store for. But as far as the temperature trends have gone, we have been running above average. We did have a front early last week, gave us two days, only two days of below normal temperatures. And that 65 last uh, Tuesday and Wednesday was only a degree below average. And then right away, we're back into the 80s, which is where we were by Saturday. Yesterday had a front move through late Saturday, kept our temperatures in the 50s, then another quick warm up by Monday. So why are we not getting these cold air masses to last for very long? Well, here's what's going on. We already have a warming trend across the central United States. The colder air is up to the north. The coldest of the air is bottled up into Canada and northern uh, Alaska and northern Canada, and we have really not yet this season seen that cold air move very far south. We would need to see is a deep upper trough off, which would allow for that colder air to move on in. And that just has not really happened this season. We have a westerly flow aloft that usually kind of cuts off the colder air and allows for our temperatures to begin warming up. So what we would need is a deep upper trough that brings in that cold Arctic air to the Midwest parts of the plains, the Ohio Valley. That colder air is able to make it down to the southeast, and that usually means we get cold and we stay cold. But that has not been the pattern that we have seen this season. What we have seen is more shallow upper troughs. They're not digging deep very far south. So the cold air generally stays to our north. We get chilly or cool, but that usually doesn't last for very long. When we get a westerly flow aloft, it doesn't take much down along the Gulf South to get that cold air to retreat back northward, and then we start warming up. So we still get cold fronts. They just don't last for very long and they're not very, very cold. And that's what we have seen. And that is very typical in a La Nina winter. And that looks like what we may continue with a trend uh, for the rest of this winter going into January, February and into March. A little bit of cloud cover, even a few isolated showers within kind of a southerly flow aloft. And that's going to keep with the, or stay with us for the next couple of days. I don't think we're going to see much in the way of rainfall over the next couple of days, maybe a stray sprinkle here and there, but overall warm, humid and with that humidity increasing, Morning fog will start to play a little bit more of a role over the coming days. We'll take a look at that fog threat as we get into the uh, evening newscast tonight at 10. Next several days warmer, but we call it hot. When highs are getting into the 80s in December, we will see a weak front for Sunday and then maybe a stronger front by the early part of next week. But it's a little beyond the forecast for any accuracy. I'm just hoping that we stay cold for Christmas.